A tall, lanky girl sat perched on her bed, rubbed her eyes, and laid down the book she had just read. She stared across the room and began to think, Why am I not like normal girls? I hate the color pink. She saw her school uniform and proceeded to roll her eyes. School was never really her thing. Her head was always in the skies. She sauntered into the kitchen where her mom packed her lunch. Her mom saw her face and immediately had a hunch. What is wrong, my beautiful little girl? Why isn't your mouth in a sweet, upturned curl? Mommy, tomorrow's my very first day of second grade. You're making me ride the bus and I'm a little afraid. Do I turn left at the stop sign or do I turn right? My head is going in circles and mom, what do you think of my height? Last year people said I was just too tall and that when I'm 10 you'd see my head peek over the bathroom stall. Her mother looked down at her with a tear in her eye and said, you should have just told that bully goodbye. She said, don't worry, buses are cooler than cars and the thing about tall girls, they're much closer to the stars. She pulled out a local map and circled my bus stop and said, follow this and after school we'll go to the bookshop. The map made her feel safe and it really made her smile. She was so used to feeling lost she hadn't felt like this in a while. Years went by and time slowly progressed. She packed for college, never feeling so stressed. She had to clear her childhood room by tonight. She kept looking at her watch. It was going to be tight. She cleaned out middle school essays and silly bands galore. Almost finished, she turned to see her entire childhood sprawled out on the floor. A shiny piece of paper reflected off the sunset that was flowing in. She picked it up and felt the paper beginning to wear itself thin. As the awareness set in and the memories began to flow, she realized it was the map that her mother had given her so many years ago. She realized now why maps covered her walls, why she didn't have a problem towering over bathroom stalls. Maps had given her the confidence from a young age to keep on discovering and flipping the page. The girl being me and my being her, I have someone to thank and it is my mother. My mom and the map truly led me home and taught me the wonderful beauty and learning to roam. In college, I will continue to reach the stars. I'll also ride the bus because they're way cooler than cars.